So welcome to data test master class. So in this tutorial, uh, we will discuss about how to apply a transformation looping variables. Okay, so I have an input like this. This is my input where it has a student name and marks one, marks two, and marks three. And my output is needed like this. Okay, so Arun and Balu like uh, it has been converted from horizontal to the vertical. Okay, so how to apply uh, this uh, scenario? How to work with this scenario? Okay, so let's see the source data. So this is my source data. This is my input data. Now we can apply in uh, data stage. How we can apply using transformers? We can do the same exercise using pivot also. Pivot. Uh, enterprise stage also. So without pivoting, how we can do using a transformer looping variables. So let's take a fresh job. Go to go to palette. Go to palette. Drag and drop a sequential file. And a sequential file also has output. And drag and drop. Transformer stage. Make a connectivity. Go to the respective file. So this is the one. And we have the first name as column name, right? So mention the column name as first name, column name as true. So rest of the options you can keep as default. And we have a pipe delimiter here. So change that and we don't have any double quotes. Cancel that and cancel a single space. Okay, so now we need to mention the metadata. Okay, so, so we can import the table definition or we can, we can enter manually. So let's now, uh, let's enter manually. Okay, so name, chat. So if it is fixed length, you can choose care. If it is varying length, you can choose where care. So I'm choosing care for an allowable teams. And what is the other columns, marks? Integer. Two. Marks three and enter like this. Yes. So based on the length, uh, can you the metadata? When metadata can be defined length. So you need to check your source data before deferring it. Okay, so here I have only two sample axes. So I have considered. Okay, so let's view the data.
Zoom just a second. Sometimes we need to exercise operations while working with the VMware. Okay, so now we are able to click on okay, click on close, click on okay. Now we have defined the input. Now let's come to the output. So here we need only uh, name column, the output, and we need marks. Okay. Okay, so now we have to work with uh, looping variables, right? So go to stage properties. Stage properties. Once uh, we open stage but looping variables. Okay. So here we can consider loop. Loop variable. Integer. I can give length three or four. Two. Okay. Click on okay. So now we can see the looping variable. So now we need to mention the iteration. So iterations can be checked in system variables. Okay, so iterations. So here we can consider less than or equal to three. So it should be one, two, or three. We have three records, right? We need three records in the output. So you need to make sure you need to check your input here. So here, three three columns that uh, that we are connecting to one column. So that is the reason I have given three here. Okay. So now we have to define this uh, condition, looping condition. So we'll use if then else. If If iteration, system variable iteration is equals to one. Then marks one. Okay. If then else again use if then else if iteration. Is equals to so then we need to consider box two. So go to input. Consider marks to else automatically the third one marks three. Okay, so if iteration is equal to one, we'll consider uh, marks one. If iteration is equal to two, we'll consider marks two. Else uh, for uh, third iteration, it will be automatically marks three. So now this one we need to apply here. Okay, so go to Looping variable, apply this to the marks. Okay. Now click on OK. Now double click on target file. Browse the file, go to. Okay. So here I do have a Terms group group output. 
of the list. So consider first line as a column name as true. Then consider right delimiter and double quotes on and multiple value single space. Okay, so now click on okay. Now save this particular chart. Go to save and save this particular chart. Yeah, now compile the job. We have saved the job now. Compile the job now. Compilation status, just a second, wait for some time. On the job now. We have started running. Not completed. So here two records has been converted into six records. So let's uh, view the output, and we can do the output here also. So this is the output file, right? We have done. So now we can see the marks. Okay. Let's see the output in transformer stage. I mean, output in data stage sequentially. Okay, so we're able to get the required output. Okay, so we're able to get the required output, right? Okay, so this is the way to apply a transform a transformation stage uh, looping variable. Data stage transformer stage looping variable. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for uh, more data stage related videos and. Uh, robotics process automation videos and data science related videos. Thank you.